when you're laying out your deck, you want to step your ledger board far enough back so that you end up putting your skirt, shadow, and overhang flush with your corner board. On the inside for the cedar, I chose to buy some Alaskan white cedar decking and rip it one by one square so that it should discolor similarly. I used a one piece pre assembled corner board so you can't see any joints here. There's a lock miter in there so it's more stable than anything I would do. It is $12.50 a foot though, so it was $250 bucks for 20 footers. Just keep it in mind. I used the PVC inside corner up against the chimney so that there was no moisture transfer between wood and the concrete. This is going to get a veneer, so it should flush up with that nicely. If you have a corner board like this, you want to make sure that even though your last rafter ends here on the house, you put in a fake rafter tail. Give that somewhere to terminate so it's not a crappy looking butt end here. If you have dead space like this, which happens a lot around garage doors, you can just add a simple return to fill the void.